Alright, I'm about to take that gar that I cleaned from the previous video and I'm going to boil it up and make up some little onions and stuff and try to make some gar balls. So, it's my first time, so we'll see how that turns out. Alright, I'm going to come out and get a bell pepper. Here's one. Don't need a very big one. I don't have very much gar meat. That might be enough. Maybe a jalapeno. It's raining on me. That ought to do. Alright, I got the potato chopped up, ready to go in and boil. All right, we're going to work on these gar balls out here. It's raining, but that's okay. And we're going to get this gar meat boiling. I'm going to put my oil in here. I'm going to use my trusty camp stove. All right. All right, so I got my <clears throat> onions, bell pepper. A little bit of jalapeno, a little celery, and I figure I'm going to throw a little kale in there from the garden. <coughs> <clears throat> a lot of the recipes call for like four or five cups of gar meat, and I don't have that much because if you saw in the other video, the gar were kind of little. <clears throat> so, I'm just going to have to wing it. You know, I'm just I'm not going to show have any certain measurements or anything. I'm just going to put however I think, much I think. And here's my boiled potatoes. And once I get the car meat, I'm going to start adding things together. Alright, so this is the first time I've tried making car balls. I've attempted car cooking gar by just frying them like catfish and things like that. But anyway, so we've boiled the gar meat. And now I'm going to cut it up, chop it up. I'm checking for any like gristle, tendons, things like that. And it, so far, it's feeling pretty nice and soft and uh, smells good. There's a little bit of toughness right there. Now I'll add this to the potatoes and I'm sauteing the vegetables. Alright, we'll get back in a minute. Alright, so I got the gar meat in there, potatoes. And I went ahead and sauteed the vegetables, the onions and the peppers and the celery because nobody here likes those raw with a little olive oil. And I put that in there. I put about three tablespoons of flour and about the same amount of cornmeal. And I'm going to put an egg. And I'm just going to guesstimate garlic powder I'm gonna say that's a tablespoon I mean a teaspoon a teaspoon of black pepper a nice fat teaspoon of Tony's Cajun season a little bit of salt and just a little dash of cayenne pepper. Right, I'm gonna mash that up and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright so I've mashed I mashed this all up and I'm gonna dip it in the egg and milk little bath and I got some cornmeal and flour mixture make these little balls like that make them about the size of a golf ball if you want to if not make them however big you want Anyway, I'm going to do that until I got them all. Alright, well I'll get the oil good and hot. I'm going to take a garble. I'm going to let them in there gently with the spoon. It's bubbling real good. And I'm just going to put a few in there. And I would imagine they have to cook for a few minutes. I'm not sure.
I'm just gonna do four the first time. All right, we'll see how that comes out. Bill likes garballs. All right, these have only been in here maybe three or four minutes until they get nice brown. I guess that's how I'm gonna judge it when they get nice brown color. And then I'll do another batch. All right, we've got a batch done. We're gonna take them inside and we're gonna see how they turned out. I'm gonna break one open, see how they turned out. Like I said, I didn't use precise measurements because I didn't have a lot of gar meat, so I just had to kind of, you know, guess at it. I made a little homemade tartar sauce. Let's see. That's really good. Kind of make you start speaking with a Cajun accent. I'm not going to throw away any more car. They're all coming home.